imagine that's a live defender. So really get into the moving and move your body and play, play with it. Be free. Basketball is a creative sport. It's, it's made for you to be free on this. Today, we're going to be adding to our ball handling repertoire. I think that's the word that we're going to use, repertoire. That's correct. Whatever, we'll roll with it. Oh, I'm doing chair ball handling. Great, great moving drill. I set up eight chairs. You can set up at, at least one to have six chairs. Now, the more, like, if you have some time and you want to get, like, 30 minutes to an hour in or whatever time that you have, set up 10 if you can or 12 like make it challenging so i set up eight and we're going to take you through all the different ball handling drills so this is working on ball handling and moving our feet at the same time moving our feet is so crucial because the ch the chairs are right now they're tight so you set you set how tight they are so right now i got a considerable amount of space if you're just starting off you kind of want to space it out a little bit more to give yourself some space on these moves. And the better a ball handler you are, you know, you keep it tight, boom, and you're coming. So I'm going to take you through that today. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to put in a lot of work. I'll probably be drenched in sweat and barely able to talk at the end of this. So now our first warm up that I like to do with this is called the snake. So the rules are we go down and back using both hands. So now I'm starting with my right hand. So this is strictly fingertips. So I'm I'm fingertip and warming up. So I'm snaking all the way through, snaking my body, snaking my body, one hand, head up, head up, head up. I'm extending that arm out there, extending that arm, extending that arm, extending that arm, all fingertips. Fingertip coordination. You want to be able to control the ball. How you control the ball is your fingertips. A lot of people just kind of go out there and they just kind of dribble however. Your fingertips are what give you full control taking the ball wherever you want it to go. Now I'm right back here. I'm coming all the way back through. Get that ball out in front. Get that ball out in front. Coming all the way through. From the right hand snake, I'm going straight into my left hand. So, boom. Trying to grab that coordination. Coming all the way through. Controlling the ball. Coming back. Head up, try to keep that head up. Let the arm do the leading. Follow the arm. From there, we're gonna go single moves. Now right here, I'm going crossovers. I'm crossing over at every single one. Right here. Coming through, staying low. Staying low, if I can, I wanna get that ball beneath that chair seat. Boom, right here. So one dribble and I'm crossing. Then I'm coming back. One dribble, crossing. Now I'm going between the legs. So boom, one dribble. Try to keep that head up and flow through the chair. So an important key, the reason I'm floating a little bit, when I cross over, I wanna get that, those feet moving. I'm just emulating that through the chairs. So boom. Oh, lose the ball, it's all right. Get right back. Stay low. Come through. If you lose the ball while you're ball handling, if you lose the ball, it's probably because you're popping up. So I'm coming up, hits my thigh. Main thing, stay low. Stay in that stance the whole time. Stay in that stance the whole time. Now I wanna come behind the back. So instead of the wrap around, I'm going kind of a crossover. Getting low, crossing it right over. So make sure you're sitting down. Sit down, stay low. In and out, in and out. A lot of people don't understand how, how to do an in and out. This right here, not gonna work. I'm not selling anything. I gotta shift my body. So I wanna come through. I want my body to go inside that chair. So I'm on the outside of the chair. 
I'm attacking. I want to shift my whole body and bring it in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'm throwing it in, I'm stepping, I'm throwing it in and stepping over and coming back out. You got to sell the move. Same thing in my left hand, coming back. Boom. Stay low with it. Head up, sell it, step, come out. Step, come out. Hit that ball in the middle of the floor. You can do that over again if you want. Then you can put combination moves on it. You can now hit the double crossover. Now, notice I'm stepping like that in and out. And I'm coming, stepping. And I'm shifting back over. And now I go left hand. I'm stepping. I'm stepping all the way over. Same thing as the in and out. You gotta sell it, sell the move with your feet. Drive your opponent, trick them. Another favorite, Hardaway dribble. Come in. Boom, saying low. Ah. And you can spice it up. You can do double behind the back, in and out hard away, or in and out cross, whatever you want. So as you guys see, I'm Marty starting to drench. That's how you should feel after you get done. Like, it's a great pre-warm up before, you know, practice, a workout, a game, whatever, help you get loose, help you work on your handles and your coordination. This drill right here, it takes you from a mediocre ball player to now an intermediate advanced ball player. Your ball handling is so important. It frees you up for your shots. It makes the defense respect you and play you a little bit differently. It opens your whole game up. If you can handle the ball, you'll be open more than a, an elite shooter. Like, ball handling is very important. And this is, this is an advanced way. So, you know the stationary ball handling is great, but if you don't have, if you don't have great footwork, Incorporate this into your game so that way you know to start moving your feet while you're handling the ball. So, I know I'm like super out of breath, so don't judge me. Your road to get back in shape, that's, a, that's coming soon, by the way. So try this out. You can do this anywhere. You could do it at home in your garage, in the driveway. If you live in one of the cold states and it's winter time during the season, you could do it in the basement at home, wherever. Like, there's no excuse. And if your parents let you, Set the chairs up from the dining room table and do it in the house when they're not home or something. So have fun with it, make it creative. You can do any move you want. Just make sure you're getting through all the chairs. And this is the biggest thing, creativity and imagination. Imagine that's a live defender. So really get into the movement and move your body and play, play with it. Be free. Basketball is a creative sport. It's, it's made for you to be free on this. So anyway, try this out. Like I said, anytime, anytime you guys want to send us clips and videos, Share them with us. We love seeing it. We love seeing the progress. We love seeing people get better and actually putting their work on their game. Make sure you subscribe to us and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date whenever we drop some new content. So that way you guys have new moves and things that add to your drill, to your repertoire, like I said earlier. And then please make sure you hit the like button because that helps other basketball players find us and they're able to work on their game. And now we create that basketball community that we're all trying to build together. So join us next time and thanks for joining us today. And as always, apply pressure.